Hi, my name is Jeremy, and I'm a comedian, apparently. <laughs> Who wants to hear some jokes? Yeah. Let's start with some airplane jokes. I learned a very important life lesson the other day. If you're on a plane, and you see a man named Jack, never say hi to him. <laughs> so, now, so now I'm not on airplanes anymore. I see him from the TV nowadays. Speaking of TV, I was watching TV the other day, and I was watching a commercial for Campbell's Soup. And it ended with, meal soup. I'm not the only one who has seen this, right? Some people sit, some people slip, but we all soup. And I was just sitting there thinking, man, that's deep. <laughs> it's weird though, say that with any other kind of food, you'd sound insane. What's next? Next commercial will be for Ritz crackers and we'll be like, we all crackers! <laughs> we all bananas! <laughs> we all toast! <laughs> we all cabbage. <laughs> I love TV. I love TV. I also love food. So naturally, I should love the food network, right? I mean food. An old chunk like me can do that, right? I, but the food network needs one thing. It needs more realism. I mean, the other day, I saw a man making a sandwich while on a rock wall. And when would you be thinking, like, I'm on this rock wall, I could really go for a sandwich right now. What next? Underwater comfort food? <laughs> then again, be more, be more entertaining than keep you up with the Kardashians. What the food network to do is they need to go back to basic. They need to teach us all the little things in the kitchen so we don't kill ourselves. Like, what's in the drawers? What's up there? And what's the thing I wore as a night for Halloween? I love Halloween. The spirit, the candy, the costume, the concept of on your razor blade and your candy. I mean, the only real danger of Halloween is finding a Three Musketeers bar in your candy. I didn't know what to dress up this year for Halloween, so I took a quiz online. Apparently, I'm a sexy nun. <laughs> and I was just sitting there thinking, man, I do not have the legs to pull out a sexy nun. <laughs> so I took a different quiz instead. I end up with Justin Bieber. And I know I do not have the legs to pull out Justin Bieber. <laughs> So I went with the sexy nun. <laughs> and I look hot for you. <laughs> what were you talking about again? All right, Food Network. I came up with a really good idea the other day. One idea that would change lives forever. I call it the Hunger Games. <laughs> Think about it. Take 24 chefs, put them in an arena, have them fight to the death, but at the same time you get a fine cuisine. <laughs> Think of the possibilities. You can you can have like Bobby Flay beating Gordon Ramsay with a stick. You can have, I don't know, Alton Brown being the Game Master. Heck, even the name, The Hunger Games, it's Food Network. If that was on Food Network, I would watch it more. Sure, it's a bit violent. I play a lot of video games, and there's much more violence than that. I play a lot of video games. Call of Duty, all that sort of stuff. Some people are disturbed by the violence. I don't mind it. <laughs> I mean, the other day, I was sitting on the couch, playing Halo, with a bag of Cheetos, you know, living life on the edge. <laughs> when my girlfriend came in, and she looked at me, and she said this. Someday you're gonna shoot someone! And I just looked at her and said this. You watch Food Network all the time, and eat don't cook. Jack, squat! <laughs> You want hockey fans? Do we have any hockey fans in the audience? You want fans of the Toronto Maple Leafs? Okay, no, fa no fans with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, I have a joke about them. The Toronto Maple Leafs are like the Titanic. They're fine until they hit the ice. <laughs> and that's my time. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.
restaurant for a while now. Yeah, I've never been here either, but it seemed like the kind of place you might go on a second date. May I make a recommendation for a special evening? Yes, please. Chef has prepared a lovely filet of sole and a brown butter reduction with seasonal vegetables and rice pilaf. I will get Roger to get a drink or two sweets. Thanks very much. Have you had a chance to look at the vine list? Perhaps I can make a little suggestion, no? I think we'll have a couple of sparkling waters until we know what we're having. Is that all right? Yes, that sounds fine. Of course. That's strange. You're right. I've never seen a menu with three different kinds of wild mushrooms. No. There's a person sitting right behind you who seems to be interested in our conversation. No, don't look now. Okay, who is it? I don't know. It seems like it's a woman in a mustache and a fedora. What? Seriously? I don't think I know her, but she seems to be keeping a close eye on us. Oh. Um, what? Who is it? Do you know her? I do know her, is yes. It, is it bad? Uh, sometimes. Really? Do you see her a lot? F fairly regularly, yes. Just ignore her. Ignore her? Is she some kind of stalker or something? Uh, not in the traditional sense. Are we in some sort of danger? Well, I don't think I am. <laughs> Johnny, I'm confused and a little concerned. What are you doing here? I'm here because the last time you went on a date, it was like watching a club and hub pig trying to drive a standard. You didn't pull out your chair, you didn't help a big meal, nothing. One, we were in a booth. Two, it's 2016 and women around the globe are enjoying the right to choose their own entrees. And three, how would you know? A woman mother knows. Besides, I'm just out for a nice meal. Can't a person go out for a nice meal every once in a while? They can. They just don't often wear fake mustaches and fedoras is all. And the timing is a little suspicious. You have to admit. Well, I haven't met any new girlfriends yet and it seems like you were going to introduce us anytime soon. It's our second date, mother. Mother? Hi, I'm Johnny's mother, Catherine, but you can call me mom, sweetie. No, you cannot. Mom, we're not doing this again. What? Can I help one of the best of my baby boy? Neither of us are getting any younger, you know. Besides, she seems nice and her face is so symmetrical. Mom, you have to go. What? I'm hungry. I haven't eaten nothing but a spoonful of two pumps all day. Really? No, you... That's no. a bit. And besides, I've already ordered. No, you haven't. I I'm getting older, and you definitely feel like you're getting older, and that if I don't find somebody soon and settle down, I'll end up old and miserable and in a home with one leg cut off from the diabetes like Uncle Edwards. But I need, but I need you to go home now and even to have a nice dinner with my girlfriend. Oh. A date? Mm -hmm. A quick? date is fine. With my date. With Elizabeth. I'm sorry. You're right, of course. I'll just go home and watch the sunset on all my hopes and dreams. Just like it said on your party to find his father. That's not dead, Mom. Just like it did when he was struck with his illness. That's not sick, Mom. Just like it did when he started to go bald. There is so much sadness in our house. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you should come sit here with you. I couldn't possibly interrupt. Okay. So, oh, seriously, Mom, I think you've had enough fun for today. Maybe you should just head home and get some beauty rest. Mm, yes, I suppose you're right. Though, speaking of beauty rest, that reminds me, do you remember the summer that we spent at your Uncle Oswald's cabin on the lake? You and your cousin Betsy. You know what, Mom? We don't need to say things about stuff and, you know, cousin Betsy. Uh, you do look like you could use a bite to eat. Why don't you sit, stay and have a salad with us and then you can be on your way? Such a good boy. Wait a minute! If Madame could but wait a moment. <laughs> S'il vous plaît. <laughs> What's he saying? Is that Spanish? I tell you, the last thing this country needs okay, is... Okay, Mom, we don't need to hear your thing on immigration right now. You didn't come all the way over here to ruin my date by talking politics. No, I didn't. You came here to ruin it by making me look like I'm still 11 years old and don't know how to handle myself in a classy restaurant. But I'm a big boy now. I can do this without you. I don't know what you're talking about. Is the lovely copper ready to order? What? Don't look at me, Mr. Big Boy can do it by himself. Order your own food. I'll have the
have a goujon schnitzel sticks, please. So one order of chicken finger. He'll also want a side of ranch dip with that. Mother, I'm not a child. Actually, could I have a little bit of ranch dip on the side, or even in a little dish? I'd really prefer it not to touch the chicken. Absolutely, monsieur. That comes with fresh steamed seasonal vegetable, egg blanc de nerle, and wild mushroom. That'll be fine. Are you sure? He said mushrooms. What about your allergies, dear? I'm not allergic to mushrooms, Mom. But you might be. <laughs> and for the young lady? I'll have the lamb sous vide. Excellent choice. That comes with fleet. And might I suggest the Montpellier Merlot? Oui, merci. Cela semble belle. Certainement, it's a Francais, it's très belle aussi. She's very cultured, but you might want to watch out for that Roger fella. You wouldn't want anyone wanting a new new date. <coughs> so, Elizabeth, where are you from? Well, I originally grew up in Victoria, but my family moved here when I was 12. Oh! So, do they smoke a lot of drugs out there? I don't think so. My father was an RCMP. Oh, a man of the cloth. Okay, Mom. <laughs> she doesn't need the third degree. Have you seen enough now? Can you go? What are you talking about? Seen enough of what? I'm just making conversation with this young flower child. Besides, remember the last time I came with you on one of these dates and I laughed too soon? What was her name? You remember Margaret with the uh, horsey teeth? And remember what happened with her? What happened with her? And that was just too bad because Margaret was a really nice girl. And Johnny doesn't get a lot of chance with the police, if you know what I mean. Mother! So how about you, Isabel? It's Elizabeth. Elizabeth, have you had lots of boyfriends? I'm starting to feel a little uncomfortable. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. That's okay. It's my sister. You don't even have your phone out. It's on silent. Do you need to call her? I'll call you. Of course. It's a family emergency. Family first. I have the solution. Okay. So I'll call you. Okay, sounds good. I'll call you. Thanks for the lovely dinner. Okay, this was fun. Talk soon. Well, she seemed nice. However, I'm not really sure there was an emergency. How can you hear her phone ring if it's on silent? You might not hear from her very soon. You think, Mom? I do. You shouldn't have worn that shirt. I just tried to tell you. I don't know why you can't hold on to a girl. <laughs>
Uh, I am in line. In fact, I've been waiting in this line for you for over a minute, and I just want to get some food and get out of here before that dumpster fire of a clown wakes up. Fine, what do you want? A double Big Mac with fries and a Coke, if you think you can manage that. I'm gonna guess you want that super size? Actually, no. Yeah, super size! Are you sure, little kid? Because if you keep on super sizing, you'll super size yourself right to this. Why on earth would you carry that around with you? Um, that's besides the point. If you keep feeding your children this food, you're giving to America's downward spiral of mass consumerism and unhealthy life. Knock, knock. Who's there? Child obesity. Child obesity who? Child obesity you, Tubby. That's it!
expecting. I was meaning to congratulate her. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care if it's a pre-flop. I'm gonna bet two thousand. You're gonna regret that. I know your fluffed face, and I'm looking right at it. I call. Too rich for my blood. How about you, Winston? My turn. Does anyone have any twos? What do you mean? What do you mean? Does anyone have any twos? Twos. The number two. Does anyone have any? Hand them over. I know they're out there. Are you kidding me? Do you think we're playing go fish? What have you been betting on? Only this sweet deuce I've got burning a hole in my hand. You know what? First of all, adults don't play go fish. Second, why would you buy in for $500 to play go fish? And third, we've been playing for a while now. What have you been doing? You've been holding that deuce for almost an hour now. Waiting for a pair. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Wow, sorry. I was just here for a friendly game of cards. I know I'm not wanted. I'm gonna see that amazing fortune teller again. She warned me about this game. Hmm. Unbelievable. Okay, Jordan, how about you? You gonna call? Well, that depends. Can I just build a hotel, or do I really need four houses first? <laughs> what? <laughs> just the other day while we were having our afternoon siesta. No, no, no. How would they even know the rules? Who knows? The playground, the film theater, the soda shop. Kids grow up quick these days. Oh, dear. Now there's no need for that sort of language in this house. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. I'll have a chat with the boy. Give him a solid grounding in the facts. The risks, the dangers, oh. and the joys and the pleasures. All possible outcomes. Then we just have to sit back and trust him to make the right decisions. All right, Father. You know, I, I trust you. You'll do fine. Thank you, honey. This is being difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go find Richie so you two can have a chat. <laughs> I did. Have a seat, son. That's fine now. Sit right over here. <laughs> How old are you now, son? I'll almost be 14 and a half next month. Oh, you're nearly a man, son. I sure am, Dad. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to talk to you. Well, what do you mean? Well, I want to talk to you about something serious. Something my father talked to me about and his father before him. Gosh, what is it? You see, son, in life, there are shoots. And there are ladders. Shoots and ladders? What do you mean? I mean, shoots and ladders by Hasbro. Do you really think about it? I think you are, son. As a matter of fact, I think you know a thing or two about it already. You've played this before, haven't you? Well, me and Billy took a look at it. It was, it was Billy's idea. I know I shouldn't have. <laughs> well, it's important that you know not only to respect people's property, but also their privacy. I'm sorry, bro. It's okay. Shoots and Ladders, by Hasbro, is a very individual experience. And it's important that you know the risks and the dangers. I sure want to stay away from the dangers, Dad. And the joys and the pleasures you can only get from a successful ladder climbing with Shoots and Ladders, by Hasbro. Dad? Yes, son? I saw some of my friends playing this game before, and they call it Snakes and Ladders. Is that the right name? Snakes and Ladders. Snakes and Ladders, by Milton Bradley! Snakes and Ladders, by Milton Bradley! <laughs> What are your friends, Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> Tricksy and slimy and sneaky? Maybe that's what they have there in communist Canada. <laughs> no, God, you're in US of A. It's shoots and ladders. Buy that one. Snakes and ladders. Good grief. I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry about what, Richie? Nothing. 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 This is a 
a conversation between me and your brother. Well, what's in your hand? Nothing, nothing. No one ever tells me anything. That's not true. I hate being a kid. This has nothing to do with your kids. It's not shifting letters, Dad. What do you mean, not shifting letters? Just fine. Just fine. <laughs> 